I'm, I know you're upset. <laughs> are you safe? Are you in the car? Okay, are you in the car? Put the window up, but... Okay. That's my window. I can't see My window is scattered. Are you scattered? Are you... All right, now, did he touch you today? He didn't touch me today, but he has been. All right, now, I need And he's been harassing me all week, and I've been telling him to leave me alone. Listen. He poured a knife out on me Monday morning at work to tell me to my job with the stuff. Okay, now, who is he to you? He is my ex-boyfriend that won't let go. Some are in trauma. They're terrified. They've just come from a very abusive situation, and they they can't put two thoughts together. They come in with nothing but the clothes on their back, and frequently bringing one, two, three, five, eight children with them. And you said that he pulled a knife on you when? He pulled a knife on me. He, he came up to my job Saturday, and he threatened me at my job. He constantly threatening me. He's constantly threatening me, and I didn't want to get y'all involved, but he, he, uh, Saturday, he came up to my job, and I'm a baker, and I was cooking, and there was a knife in my sink. He said, I ought to pick this knife up and stick the s*** out of you. You don't know how I feel. So, then he had a hot cup of coffee, and he was like, I'll pour this a hot cup of coffee on you. And he was just shoving stuff around and pulling on me and stuff. Yeah, have you but, made a report of any of this happening in the past? No, I haven't, because I was not trying to involve y'all. I was hoping that he would just go away. Unfortunately, almost every employer is touched by domestic violence. When um, the national standard is one in three women are a victim of domestic or sexual assault, Somebody they know is a victim, but frequently victims won't share their information. They don't talk about it. They're embarrassed, so they don't tell their employers what's going on. So employers don't even know how to be proactive about helping them because they don't know what's happening. Um, he beat her up and she came in. She came in and lied about it. and. Uh, um, you know, said that he, uh, she said that uh, she, she had tripped and fell into a dresser. Never, never would you imagine that this would happen. I mean, it just seems unfathomable, but it happens. We have a lot of work to do. And employers are in a difficult position. They watch the evening news just like you and I do. They see the workplace violence. So when these cases touch their place of employment, they are frightened, they don't know what to do. One of the things that I think we could do legislatively that would make a difference is pass some laws where it is mandatory that the place of employment be served with the order of protection, that they're aware of it. Now, the process now is a discussion between the victim and the victim advocates. And we try to be respectful of victims uh, on their wishes, but I feel like we ought to take that responsibility off of them. Uh, and we and just tell them it's the law and these people have to be served. I think if a law enforcement officer in uniform shows up at the front office of an employer and says, this person is under protection, it's gonna make a difference. Um, it has to be discussed, um, not only for the locations where the victim works, but also for where an offender, an abuser were to work, because if they're having those kinds of issues at home, it easily can come into the workplace when um, someone in authority tells them to do something. Domestic violence is about power and control. If you come here and you're in an abusive relationship, how safe is, is it gonna be here for, for the staff?